What's up trainers, Ali and Kasem. For this week, we're gonna do performance moves. I like to use these moves when working with my volleyball clients, but really it's about power and control. So you can use these with any of your clients. Let's go check it out. All right, the consecutive jump, we're gonna do with the Son of the Beast Pro. Kasem's already strapped in. So facing away from the anchor point, we've already set up our training zone. He's gonna do a quick jump. The second he lands, he's gonna treat it as hot lava. Quick, right, stick it, and then walk and control that. So because this is a power move, Kaysen's gonna wanna take that time to rest, and then he's gonna wanna reset, explode up out of it, hit again, good. Watching your client's knees, making sure they don't buckle in, and landing soft. Just like a ninja, right Kaysen? Just like a ninja. All right, let's hit that one more time. Another thing you want to watch for, so Casey, I'm going to have you do one more for me, is making sure that your client doesn't duck completely down, setting up in that athletic stance, and then exploding up out of it. So one more time, drive those hips as quick as you can. Land, quick. Good, control. Good, Casey. All right, our next move is a lateral squat jump. Casey is already set up in his training zone. He has that side of his body facing that anchor point. Kasem, I'm gonna have you jump into that training zone, jumping up nice and quick, and then returning back. Ready? Here we go. Good. Have your client stay nice and low. Now notice he's working with that resist motion as he jumps in that resistance band, or the Son of Beast is gonna pull him back. Try to have that client, as he jumps up, yeah, rest, to stay in that same jumping point. No, Kaysen's gonna have to rest because it is a power move. So obviously he needs this rest, right? To be able to perform it. Okay, so let's go round two. Here we go. Watch for those knees. Set it up. Hit it. Perfect, control it on the way back. Good, this move is great for your volleyball players. It works with that change of direction and obviously it's gonna help him work on that jumping by that resistance band pulling him back. Good job, Kaysen. Okay, we are going to do a squat jump now. Kaysen's already ready, strapped into that Son of these Pro, facing away from the anchor point. He's going to come down into that half little squat position, jump up as high as he can. Good. Focusing on that power, and then taking a step. Good, Kaysen. Now, with the Son of the Beast Pro pulling him back, he is working on generating all that power from his glutes, his hamstrings, good, and trying to reach up as high as he can. One thing you want to watch for when your client is doing this is making sure that they land in that same spot. Like we talked about, it's gonna pull him back. Try to land in that same spot, just like Casey does. Let's do it one more time. Watch for those cues, making sure the knees land nice and soft. And what I like to listen for is landing softly, in control, so in control. Good, much better. So just as important that you jump high as it is you land in control. Good job, Casey. Huh? Nice work. So go ahead and use these performance moves with your athletes or if you need to burn off some of those extra calories from the candy you're going to be eating for Halloween. Like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and check us out.